So this is the form 1040. The dependence, of course, will be down here. So this is where we're going to be listing the dependents. We've got the name of the dependent, social security number, the relation, if they're a qualifying child, if they are a credit for other dependents, then you've got the check boxes. Those then will be reflected, the credits that is, on the second page of the form 1040. So on page two of the form 1040, we saw that there might be an impact on the tax calculation in terms of the tax tables. And that might be an impact due to, for example, a move from filing status, such as single to head of household when we saw that scenario. And there could be an impact with regards to the child tax credit or credit for other dependents, the child tax credit typically being the larger one. So when we dive into the actual calculations of the child tax credit, then uh, that's the, the, the thought process would be, do they qualify as a dependent? When they qualify, if they qualify as a dependent, can I take the child tax credit? Because it's usually gonna be a more beneficial one. If not, then I'm gonna take the second credit, which is uh, the other dependents credits, if I can qualify for that. So now we'll just go into the introduction and then we'll go into the basically uh, on, the, on the instructions for the form 1040 to see who qualifies for a dependent. And then we'll go into the actual questionnaire uh, to see who qualifies for a dependent. Now, a lot of times it's pretty straightforward who qualifies for a dependent. It's, it's a child, it's a, a qualifying child, pretty straightforward type of situation. And, uh, but you could have, then there's other questions with regards to, well, if it's a qualifying child, do they qualify for the child tax credit? And that could be dependent on multiple factors such as age and, and whatnot. And then there could be, of course, other situations where someone isn't uh, your child and then do they qualify for a dependent and so on and so forth. So it actually gets fairly complex and it's easiest to see in like a, a, a questionnaire type of format. In practice, oftentimes you can say, okay, this is a pretty straightforward scenario. And when the scenario is not as straightforward, then of course we can go through that formal questionnaire process to figure it out.